Your router might be the most invasive device in your entire house, and you probably don't even realize it. New models can track your exact movements without a camera, without a microphone, and without ever asking for your permission. They know when you're home, when you're asleep, and when you walk from the kitchen to the bathroom, even how fast your chest moves when you breathe at night. This is called Wi-Fi sensing, and it's already been pushed into millions of homes through silent firmware updates. With no notification or warning, just active surveillance running in the background. Most people have no idea this feature even exists. And by the time you notice, it's probably already been recording your patterns for months. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, who's using it, what it reveals about you, and how to shut it down for good. Here's how this works. Your router is constantly sending out radio waves. These waves fill your space, hitting the walls, the furniture, your pets, and your own body. Every time you move, even a small shift in your seat, the signal changes a tiny but measurable way. That change gets picked up by the router's hardware, passed to an algorithm, and interpreted as motion. This is part of a new wireless standard called 802.11bs. It lets routers act like motion sensors without needing any new hardware beyond what's already in place. The system can detect things like footsteps, pacing, stillness, and even the rhythm of your breathing. It can tell when you've fallen asleep, it can recognize your walking pattern, and it does all of this without recording sound or video. It doesn't send this data to the cloud either. It runs locally on the chip. Even networks with no internet connection can still perform this kind of motion sensing. You wouldn't see it in your settings, and most people wouldn't even know what to look for. Is your router doing it right now? Wi-Fi motion tracking is already built into a lot of routers. Comcast added a feature called Wi-Fi motion to their XFi routers. It uses your devices to detect movement across your home. They say it's for things like automation or safety, but their privacy policy allows that data to be shared with advertisers and other companies and third parties. Most people never see that detail and there's no pop-up that asks for permission. Linksys did something similar with their Velop mesh routers. A firmware update added a feature called Linksys Aware. It tracks movement between access points. It's described as helpful for monitoring children or aging parents, but there's no clear explanation of how that data is stored, how long it's kept, and who has access to it. And this isn't limited to big brands. Companies like Plume, Origin Wireless, and Cognitive Systems are licensing this technology and baking it into more devices. Some brands like Google Nest and Amazon Eero market context-aware automation, but not all of them use Wi-Fi sensing yet. That could change quickly though, as more companies adopt the 802.11bs standard. If your router app includes features like motion awareness or presence detection, it's already collecting this kind of data. And none of these companies make it obvious. You don't get a clear notification and most people don't even know to look for it. These systems log more than basic activity. They capture detailed routines over time. They record when you're active and when you're still when you wake up, where you walk, how long you stay in one room, and that information can be pieced together into a pattern of behavior that says a whole lot about your life. Advertisers might want it, but so would anyone trying to monitor you, whether that's someone in your personal life or someone targeting you remotely. If a router is exposed through default passwords, outdated firmware, or a remote exploit, an attacker could collect all that data without needing access to your cameras or microphones. There's also a risk of manipulation, Researchers have already shown that it's possible to inject fake motion patterns into some of these systems. That means someone could train your setup to ignore real movement or trigger fake alerts, depending on their goal. This all happens on a device most people ignore with very little visibility into what it's doing behind the scenes. Are you already being watched? If you're wondering whether your own router is doing this, the answer depends on the brand, the model, and how recently it was updated. But you don't have to guess, you can check. Start with the app or web interface that manages your router. Look under sections like advanced settings, smart features, or device behavior. You're looking for anything labeled motion detection, Wi-Fi sensing, presence awareness, or a branded feature like x Motion or Linksys Aware. If you find it and it's turned on, shut it off. Now check your firmware change log. You may not see motion tracking spelled out directly. It's often listed under vague updates like improved automation or enhanced intelligence. If you see anything like that, it's worth doing a search using your router's exact model number in terms like 802.11bs, motion sensing, or Wi-Fi presence detection. If you don't find anything in the settings, watch for strange behavior. Some routers will transmit data in bursts when motion is detected, even if no one is online. If your smart lights or speakers start reacting before you interact with them, or your phone app sends you movement alerts even though you didn't install any motion sensors, that's another sign. You can also monitor your network more directly. 
Third-party firmware like OpenWRT or DDWRT gives you much more visibility into what your router is actually doing. Even if you don't install custom firmware, those communities have documentation that can help you figure out whether your model supports this kind of tracking. Once you know it's there, you can take action. Start with the obvious. Turn off motion tracking in the router's settings, but don't assume that one switch disables everything. Some features will turn back on after a firmware update or factory reset. Make a habit of checking after every update. If you want stronger boundaries, shift to Ethernet for your more private areas. Bedrooms, offices, anywhere you want full control. Hardwiring your connection stops Wi-Fi signals from bouncing around and getting picked up. Every spot where Wi-Fi isn't active is one less place your movement can be tracked. You can also move your router. Don't keep it in your bedroom or office. Put it in a central spot where there's less personal activity. If you want physical barriers, there are materials that block or reflect signals. Mylar blankets, RF shielding film, or Faraday fabric can stop Wi-Fi from reaching certain rooms. You can create zones where wireless signals just don't penetrate. There are software options too. You can segment your network into VLANs. These changes make it harder for tracking algorithms to maintain a clean behavioral profile over time. You don't have to make every change at once, but the more you understand your network, the more control you take back. Sometimes the easiest way to deal with motion tracking is to switch hardware entirely. If your current router was built with these features baked in, turning them off might not be enough. Avoid routers that advertise anything like smart automation, context-aware features, or motion sensing. That includes models from Amazon Eero, Google Nest Wi-Fi, Comcast XFi, and most mesh systems that integrate with smart home platforms. They're designed to collect behavioral data. The tracking is not accidental, it is part of a product. If you're shopping for a replacement, look for routers released before the 802.11 BF standard was finalized. TP-Link, Ubiquiti, and some ASUS models are solid choices. These brands tend to be more popular with users who care about privacy and network control, and they usually don't ship motion tracking by default. If you want full control over what your router does, get one that supports custom firmware like OpenWRT, DDWRT, or Tomato. These platforms strip away the tracking features and give you access to everything that's running in the background. You'll be able to decide exactly what the router does and doesn't do. Before you buy anything, search the model number with keywords like 802.11BF or Wi-Fi Motion. If it comes up, skip it. You can also check out the OpenWRT compatibility list or browse sites like privacyguides.org where experts and privacy-focused users vet devices that don't sneak in surveillance. You don't have to give up speed or stability to get better privacy. You just have to choose the tools that actually respect your space. Now, the fight for privacy starts at home. This is already happening. Ravers in everyday homes are logging motion, tracking routines, and feeding that data to systems you didn't ask for and probably didn't know about. There wasn't a headline announcing this rollout, and most people didn't hear about it through news coverage or tech alerts. It came through firmware updates, vague app settings, and defaults that were never actually explained. And the language around it, like smart lighting, energy efficiency, and fall detection, sounds helpful. That's what makes it so easy to ignore. This isn't about panic, it's about clarity. If a device in your home is tracking your movement, you should know. You should get to decide whether that data exists, where it goes, and who can use it. You don't need to be a network engineer to take action. You just need to pause, open your router settings, and start asking better questions. This is where it begins. Your home network is the gateway. And when you understand what it's doing, you can stop it from working against you. If you want the full breakdown, every source, every spec, and the defensive tools that go beyond what I can cover here, check out the Cyber Resistance Club. That's where I keep the deeper research with citations, backend mechanics, and advanced guides for people who want to take it further. Your home should belong to you. Let's keep it that way.